Hi all, my name is Khanam. In this video, we are going to resolve Flexbox Froggy game. In our previous video, we have completely understood about Flexbox. I have taught every property which is important to create website layout. So if you have not watched previous video, then I suggest you to watch that so that you will be having great understanding on Flexbox. We have seen all these things related to Flexbox. We have seen what is Flex container, what are Flex item, what is main access, cross access and also I have shown you these tips, the simple words ACH, JMV. So if you have not watched that video, first I suggest you to watch that video then only get started with this game so this game is created by code pip so thank you so much for that so using this game we can practice our flexbox properties which we have learned previously here they have given all definitions and inside this they have selected one id background they have written the code and here for this parent container, they have given display to be flex. As I mentioned earlier, whenever we give display flex to parent container, all its children element will be arranged in horizontal, that is in row. So whenever we have to arrange elements in row, then we will be using justify property, justify content. And inside this, we have multiple values. Now this frog, I have to move inside this circle. So circle is at the end, so I will write here end. Now frog is inside the circle, which means my answer is correct. And also here if you notice, once my answer is correct, then only this next button will be active. If I just write something here, my button will not be active and I cannot move to next level. So here I will write end. I will click on next. Level 2. Again, we have to move in horizontal way. So as of now, we know for horizontal, we will be using justify content because our flex direction is row. Now these circles are at the center. So we will be using center. Okay, that is correct. Again, horizontal. So for that, we know we have to use justify content. Okay, start we cannot use. If we use start, all frogs will be here. End also we cannot use. Let us try. Space between also we cannot use because here also we are having the spaces. So, we are left with two options. Space around and space evenly. So, first let us try with space round. Space hyphen around. Okay, that is correct. Space around is correct. I will click on next. Again, we have to arrange these frogs in horizontal. So, for horizontal, we will write justify content. Okay. As of now, our flex direction is row. So, for horizontal, we are selecting justify content. If our flex direction was column, then we would have select align items for horizontal arrangement. Now you can see here and here I do not have any space. Only in between I am having. So I will write space between. Okay, that is correct. Next. Okay, now these circles are at the end and my frogs are here. So vertically I have to arrange. So for vertical we have align items and circles are at the end. So we will write end. Correct. Move to next. Now circle is here. So first we have to move horizontally. Then we have to move vertically. And here they have given two lines. Okay. They have mentioned two lines. So we can write two lines of code. So first I will move horizontal. Justify content. Justify content to be center. And next we will be using align items. Align items to be center. Okay, that is correct. Next. 
now here circles are down so first what i can do i can bring this down and after that using horizontal we can arrange this one so first what i will do align items to be end this will come down now horizontally i have to arrange them so i will use justify content now here also i have space here also i have here everywhere i am having space so i will write here space around okay that is correct next this is our level 8 now here horizontally we have to arrange so you will be thinking justify content justify content to be end but here if you notice our green frog should come here and red should come here yellow is in the correct place but this direction should be reversed so this property is not correct so instead of that what we can do this items are in horizontal but now we can just reverse their position this position here and this position here so we can write flex direction reverse if i write like this nothing will happen so we have row reverse now you can see green yellow and red and here for every level they have given the explanation as well next now 11 9 first what i have to do i just have to change their position default position is row i will just change the position flex direction to be column okay next now again here they have given two lines of space so we should be writing two lines of code first same trick we are going to apply we are going to change the direction flex direction row reverse okay we have green we have yellow and we have red so again in horizontal way we have to arrange them we will use justify content justify content to be start we got the correct answer now we just have to change their direction first i will have green yellow red then i have to bring them down so i will change the direction flex direction to be column as soon as we give flex direction column then now vertical arrangement will happen using justify content so i will write here justify content justify content will be end i will change the spelling justify content that will be end so remember whenever we have column justify will be vertical when we have row justify will be horizontal next now here we have red yellow and green first we will be changing the direction flex direction to be column flex direction column and here if i just write justify content justify content space between now these are arranged but here i just have to write column reverse okay i have to reverse their position so i can just write reverse okay now we got the right answer next now here you can see we have three spaces so we have to write three lines of code first understand first we have to bring them here horizontal then we have to bring them down and then we have to change their position so let us try we will write justify content justify content to be center and align items align items will be end and flex direction flex direction will be row reverse okay we got the right answer next here i have green that is right now here what i want to do i just want to bring red here and yellow should come here so what we can do we can use order property 
order property also I showed you by default it will be zero. If we want to bring in the first position, we have to give the number less than zero. If we want to give in the last position, we want to give the number greater than zero. Now suppose I have one. Now one is greater. So if we want to bring at the end, then the value should be greater than one. So now I'll just write here minus one less than zero. Okay, not here. I have to bring yellow at the end. So I have to write here one. So greater than zero, it will be coming at the end. Next. Now for red, we have to change. This red has to come here at the front. So order, it should be less than zero minus one. Okay, we got the right answer. Now only this yellow, I should be bringing down. And they have selected this yellow class. For this, we have a line self for children container. For children, I will write end. Next. Now here if you notice, they have just selected yellow. So I first yellow I have to bring here and then yellow I have to bring down. So what I can do? I can use order property order i have to bring at the end so i can just write here two two or one one also if you write then also you are going to get the same result it should just be greater than zero then here i can write align items sorry align self it will be end okay that's it next Now here you can see all the frogs are stuck to each other. I do not want this one. I just want this frog should come down. So we can simply use flex wrap to be wrapped. Okay, that's it. Only one line of code. Next. Now here also we have to use flex wrap. Flex wrap to be wrap. All are done. Now I have to change their direction. All are vertical. So I have to change flex direction to be column. Okay. Done. Next we have resolved 19 levels. Next. Now here we have the same. We have same thing. What we had here. You can see what we had here previously. We have same thing here. And we have only one line of space. So what we can do? We can use shorthand property flex flow. And inside this first we have to give the direction. Direction will be column. And flex wrap will be wrap. You can see we got the right answer. So in this we are having two lines of code. So we wrote separate properties. Here they have given only one line of space. So we are using the shorthand property flex flow. Next. Now as I mentioned when we are having multiple elements then we can use align content property. So here we can use align content and we can just write here start. Here we can use the same property align content and here we just have to write end. Now this is our 23rd level. First let me just try to change the direction. Flex direction to be column. And they have to come in the center. And also this position should be shifted. Now as I am having multiple elements. So we can use line content. Align content to be center. But I have to shift their position. So I just have to write column reverse. Okay, now we have yellow, green and red. Now this is our last level. Here inside this I am having four circles, one red. And here I am having two yellows. First what I will do, I will just write here 
flex wrap to be wrap okay now i have this one i will change the direction flex direction to be column i want to bring this yellow here so for vertical when it is column we have to use justify justify content to be center as i am having multiple rows i can write align content to be space between but now this yellow i want here and this one i want it here so what i can simply do i can just change this pro value i can just write here reverse column reverse okay still i have not got the answer we have flex wrap to be wrap now simply what i will do instead of wrap i will just write here wrap reverse so in reverse it will wrap then i have column reverse i am just changing their colors i am just changing their position then center and this align content will be space between next okay we are done with all the levels we have completed all the levels if you want to try more games and if you want to learn css properties or javascript properties you can go to codepip website and there you can watch multiple css games javascript games you can apply the concept and you can master the concept thank you so much for watching this if you are having any doubts then you can comment your doubt in the comment section or else you can watch the flexbox tutorial and you can master flexbox that's all for this session thank you so much for watching this game